Hello, I'm Daniel Kay. You may know me from such vlogs as The Weekend Box Office Report. Well, it's I think the second, no, third week in June, weekend in June, I mean, and um, let's start from scratch. Well, it's the third weekend in June, I think, and you may have noticed uh, that I was conspicuous by my absence for the last couple of weeks. I, um, I got cast in a play, and um, usually I record these things on Monday and Thursday nights, which happen to also be the nights when they have rehearsals, and I only have like uh, less than two hours between the time I get home and the time I have to leave for rehearsal, and I don't have time to do these. And... Um, I mean, I could do them after I get back from the rehearsal, but um, studio executives should be losing sleep over box office figures, not me. So uh, this is my way of saying you won't be seeing me again for a couple of weeks until uh, rehearsals are done and we actually go on the stage and I have my weekend, my weekday nights free. Um, having said that, uh, let's see what happened this last weekend. Okay, so... Um, there's only one movie in the top ten that's new. It's the Hitman's Wife Bodyguard. The Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. There's, there's too many possessives in that title. Uh, it's from Lionsgate, and it made, uh, just a second, 11,397,000 bucks. Um, and that's a f real figure. That's not some estimate. They're actually going right ahead and saying that the money that it made. That's why I got so specific. Um, by the way, I should say that um, uh, there might be more new movies in the top ten because I haven't discussed them, but I'm not going to. All right, now, um, I should also say that this weekend, the movie I saw, I went to a movie. Oh, my God. And uh, wore a mask. Uh, it's The Sparks Brothers, which I found delightful and I recommend strongly. A uh, documentary directed by Edgar Wright, full of visual puns and... Um, a deep, deep, deep strain of weirdness that goes all the way through the history of the band Sparks, which is really just a couple of guys and whatever musicians they snatch out of the air and put in their record. Um, anyway, it made uh, 27, is that? No, 273,000 bucks. Um, and how many screens, Dan? Uh, 534. So, $532 per screen, which frankly pretty much tracks with the theater I was seeing it in. And this is in Los Angeles. Okay, a short pause. Had to get down to the bottom of the chart. Um, down to the bottom of the chart, uh, coming in at number 42, it is a movie called The Perfect Candidate from uh, Music Box Pictures. I think it's Iranian. Anyway, it's Middle Eastern. It's not from around here. It made two hundred and sixty-eight dollars, uh, and it's been on the chart for what six weeks now. Also, um, coming in at number thirty-nine, Sweat, also a foreign film. This one, I believe, uh, from one of the Nordic countries, um, about a, a woman who is um, obsessed with becoming an influencer through fitness videos. Uh, it made $966 on one screen, which is great. I mean, it beats Sparks on one screen. Um, yeah, there you go. All right, well, uh, nice to see you guys again. I'll be going now. Uh, I'll probably be back in July. And <laughs> until then, aviento. And um, I certainly hope you're not put out by the lack of box office news. Maybe I'll just publish a link to Box Office Mojo every week instead. Bye for now.